Good morning, everybody, and welcome to another Sunday morning vlog. It is Sunday. Dale and Paul are out and about in Las Vegas as usual. <laughs> Absolutely. And guess where Paula went this time? Oh, I've had it on my list forever. Ever since we stayed at Delano, I wanted to go to Della's Kitchen. And of course, it was during the pandemic. It, was it wasn't never open. open. <laughs> But we finally scored it this week, Farmhouse Breakfast. So she went down to Delano's and she checked out some of the stuff that's happening at Mandalay Bay as well. Yeah, you know, when you haven't been to these places for a while, things change. Get ready, because this adventure starts right now. It was way back in 2019 and 20 that we did staycations on our channel about these two golden resorts, Mandalay Bay and Delano. <laughs> That's a long time in Las Vegas, and I can guarantee it that there are going to be some new things for us to discover. Access to Delano's main lobby is from the Mandalay Bay garage, and the first thing you see are these massive boulders. <laughs> well, actually, it's one metacortsite boulder cut in half and weighing in at 126,000 pounds. Delano's theme celebrates the Mojave Desert, and this little bauble was found near G, Nevada by the hotel's designer. It's actually estimated to be 150 million years old. The lobby for this all-suite hotel is an expansive 60,000 square feet and features lots of clean white, setting off the intriguing rock art that continues the desert theme. Not only is the Delano inspired by the Delano in South Beach, Florida, it also pays homage to President Franklin Delano Roosevelt. In fact, this classy lobby bar is called Franklin. The color palette is dark blues and bronze, and it's a great spot for craft cocktails and light bites. Franklin opens at 2 p.m. Thirty-nine forty coffee and tea is your go-to in the lobby for hot beverages and pastries. It is named for the property's address and, according to the website, it's inspired by a shady area in a sun-drenched desert. There's a cozy living room on one side, and a fireplace seating area on the other. Make a right, and here we are in the hallway that connects us to Mandalay Bay. And this will be our breakfast destination, but first, we're going to take a quick walk to work up an appetite. <laughs> this hallway is a stunner, don't you agree? The lighting fixtures the furniture, the framed art and mirrors. Big thumbs up all around. Step into Mandalay Bay and here is the theater for Michael Jackson One. This Cirque du Soleil show has been celebrating Michael's music with acrobatics, dance and visuals since 2013. And, and speaking of visuals, just check out this statue currently holding pride of place in Mandalay's lobby. The shops at Mandalay Place is one of our favorite pedestrian malls. A 310 foot long sky bridge connecting Mandalay Bay with Luxor. We haven't been through here in a while, so let's check out what's new. The Raider Image Team Shop at Mandalay Place is one of several around town for all your Las Vegas Raiders gear. And look at this, 
Ranjan, the world's most famous surf shop, is here in Las Vegas. Surfing in the desert? Sure, why not? Now I just gotta get me a Ron John t-shirt. Re-Raw is an authentic Irish pub, and I mean a pub restored in Ireland and shipped here. And it is one of our favorite places for fish and chips. Plus, the decor in here is fabulous. Halfway through Mandalay Place, the walkway swings to the right with shops along the curve. Now wait, you say you've never been to the Shark Reef? With one of the largest tanks in North America and more than 2,000 aquatic species, I recommend you get over there right now. Just before you reach Luxor, you've got opportunities to improve your karma. Score a fashionable hat. Or stock up on bath bombs. And if you're hungry, a pizza, or a burger, or some fresh Mexican are just steps away. We absolutely love Hussong's Cantina, both for the decor and the food. In fact, in one of our very earliest vlogs, we actually had dinner in there. Back on the casino floor at Mandalay Bay, and wow, is this different. About a year ago, we did a breakfast at House of Blues Video, and here is what the front looked like then. Since then, it has undergone a $4.5 million remake that totally opened it up to the casino and includes a brand new bar and indoor patio. The design is warehouse distillery with corrugated metal, steel, wood, and brick. And it was all unveiled last October. On our way to the lobby, let's pop in on one of our favorite pretty lounges in all of Las Vegas, Hazel Coffee and Cocktails. It opens at 6 a.m. and features award-winning premium coffees to kick off your day. We like to check out the gorgeous lobby at Mandalay Bay just to see the latest focal point. Actually, we remember a couple of years ago they had a huge sand sculpture in the middle of it. Today, though, it's Michael Jackson on a huge pedestal. Out the window, this cascading fountain that always makes us stop for a minute just to admire its design. And speaking of water features, another spot we always stop to appreciate is this tropical oasis, whose only purpose is to take you down one level from the lobby. Is this not a beautiful way to get from point A to point B? On the casino floor, Rhythm and Riffs is a nighttime go-to spot for us at Mandalay Bay. It's very quiet this morning, but in December during the National Finals Rodeo, it is the place to be. Heading back towards Restaurant Row is another new addition. S-Bar made its debut at the end of last year, taking over the space that was once Red Square. 
S-Bar is an L.A.-based brand that celebrates the culture of mixology in a sultry lounge atmosphere. <laughs> Sounds intriguing and maybe even a little expensive. By the way, just in case you didn't think the crowds were back, check out the line for Starbucks at 7.15 a.m. on a Monday morning. Last stop on our whirlwind tour this morning is the huge picture windows overlooking the exquisite Mandalay Bay Beach. Well, between the rising sun and the rain spots on the glass, the view is less than perfect, but we were actually down there in person and we know how spectacular this 11-acre aquatic wonder is. It looks ready for a long, hot pool season, so let me ask you a question. <laughs> Got your room booked yet? Okay, Paula says it's high time for breakfast, so we are heading back to where this adventure started, the Delano. Della's Kitchen, which opened right along with the Delano Hotel in 2014, occupies the entire length of this hallway. And unlike Mandalay Bay, it's quiet and unbusy over here. The decor inside Della's blends natural and industrial materials, plus a really attractive collection of farmhouse kitchen glassware and art. And the overall result is a really comfortable homey space. The restaurant seats 140 guests and is open Thursday through Monday for breakfast and lunch. The menu is an elegant combination of classic breakfast and lunch specialties featuring locally sourced ingredients. And we mean that. <laughs> Here's a fun fact. A greenhouse was actually built on the property just to provide fresh herbs for Della's kitchen. Well, good morning. Welcome to Della's Kitchen over here between Delano and Mandalay Bay. I have been walking, walking, walking. I think I earned myself a breakfast. I ordered the Delano breakfast. It's going to be a lot of food, but I'm excited to show it to you. So I got myself a pot of tea. I'm going to pour that. And I have to say, I got here well before 6.30 this morning. In this place, everywhere I went was totally mobbed with a thousand or thousands of teenage girls. It's a volleyball tournament called Red Rock Rave. They were everywhere. So I finally gave up trying to film around them and past them and wait for them to go by in huge groups. And so I'm sitting down, I'm having breakfast, I'm done filming. I'll see you in a minute to show you the food. All right, are you ready for this? This is my $24 Delano breakfast. It's two scrambled eggs, it's bacon, it's hash browns with green onions, I think. It's some amazing looking country toast with jam and butter for one person. Let me dig in, let me see how well I can do on this. <laughs> All right, let's do some tasting. What do you say? First up, let's see how the eggs are. They're bright yellow. Fluff. Hot. Fluffy. Not real salty. I might actually want to put a little salt on that. But they're good, fresh. In a place like this that goes from farm to table, I expect fresh. All right, my server recommended the hash browns, so let me have a bite of those. Nice and brown and crispy like I like them. They're good. They're not unique in any way. They're just hash browns. I don't really even taste the onion. Hmm, okay. Let's try some bacon. It's all kind of stuck together. I did ask for it well done, and it is nice and crispy. That's good. Good bacon. Good eggs, good bacon. So, so potatoes. Now, a piece of bread intrigues me. It looks very rustic, and I love me some rustic bread. And it looks like maybe a strawberry jam, so let me have a bite. Mm. 
I like it. Thick, crusty, chewy. It's good. Um, yeah, it's all good. Not crazy about the potatoes, but the rest is awesome. I'm going to eat. All right, folks, a little postscript on the hash browns. I actually discovered that the onion layer is on the bottom, so it's actually at the plate. So if I scoop up from the bottom, I do, in fact, get the onion flavor on the hash browns. So I just wanted to correct that. If you're a hash brown lover, there are some nice crispy onions on the bottom layer. Totally changes the flavor. Big thumbs up on that. Well, there you go. Another Paula's breakfast. Holy mackerel, that thing was huge. <laughs> I actually, I think the crusty bread might have been my favorite part. I just love that sort of rustic bread. And I heard from the server that it was actually red raspberry preserves on there. So I really liked it. And I like the room. I like the mason jars and all that stuff. I just don't understand how you can get up so early to go down and do this. It's my thing. <laughs> it and is. let me tell you, I don't know if you noticed, you weren't with me, of course, but Mandalay Bay was really busy, even at 6.30 and 7 in the morning. But Della's Kitchen was like a haven. Yeah. As soon as you go down that hallway to Delano, the crowds melt away. And so I'm just going to throw that out there. They're open five days a week. And if you're looking for a quiet breakfast, yeah. try Della's. And honestly, if you're looking for a quiet place to stay, too, Delano's is really nice. It is, yeah, yeah, it's absolutely lovely. Uh, just We had stayed there before and loved it. So, yeah. so uh, I liked all the new stuff that's happening at Mandalay Bay. I like what they did at the, uh, the House of Blues. That and I want nice. to go to the S bar. Absolutely. That's brand new too. Yeah, we're so, excited about lots that. Lots of good stuff happening. Paula, give me one of these. You did a nice job again. Another successful Paula's <laughs> kitchen. I give you a big thumbs up. Well, it was Della's kitchen, not Paula's, but close enough. Well, it's, a it's Paula's kitchen. Yeah, I was just going to say because that's good, coming up right now. Yeah, yeah, it's Easter and <laughs> Passover next week, and we are going to be doing a Paula's kitchen this Wednesday featuring a beloved dish that you might normally have at Easter and, and Passover. And let me just uh, say that there will be no video next week because we are going to see our granddaughter for Road Easter. Trip. <laughs> yes. So we decided that we are going to take a week just for us and family, and uh, by golly, we're going to do it. We are. So wishing you all happy Passover, happy Easter, and we'll be back on the 24th. All right. If you're not subscribed, please subscribe. Don't forget to hit that notification button. This one is for Spence and Katie. Paula, anything else you want to tell these nice people? <laughs> You totally threw me, and I don't think I have anything. Nothing. OMG. All right. We'll, well see you for Paula's Kitchen. Hope you had a good day. time. See you next time. Bye-bye, everybody. Bye, everyone. <laughs>